हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकलकेट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस इंजीनियरिंग एंड आर्किटेक्चर सब्जेक्ट टूडे इन आवर आर्किटेक्चर बिल्डिंग सर्विसेज प्ले लिस्ट वेल अंडरस्टैंड डिजाइन लोकेशन कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ सेप्टिक टैंक वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिक्वायरमेंट इन आवर सैनिटेशन सिस्टम सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड ऑल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सेप्टिक टैंक सैनिटेशन एंड सेफ डिस्पोजल ऑफ ह्यूमन वेस्ट इज अ क्रिटिकल एलिमेंट ऑफ पब्लिक हेल्थ हाइजीन एंड वेल बींग द नेशन वाइड स्वच्छ भारत मिशन इन आवर कंट्री अलिमिनेटेड ओपन डिफिकेशन एंड दिस इज अचीव्ड थ्रू मास स्केल बिहेवियर चेंज एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हाउस होल्ड इंडिविजुअली मेड टॉयलेट्स और कम्युनिटी बेस्ड टॉयलेट सिस्टम्स अलोंग विथ सेफ्टिक टैंक एंड सॉक पिट्स A septic tank is a buried watertight chamber made of concrete and masonry work. Such septic tanks are widely used to provide partial treatment of wastewater from individual homes or cluster of houses in a colony or some institutional buildings or hostel where is no centralized sewerage network or other centralized infrastructure to treat sewage. such septic tank are recommended only for small communities and institutions where the total contributory population to human waste doesn't exceed 300 so for any location having human population less than 300 one can use such septic tanks to handle and treat human extracta and waste water from water closets water closets of toilets and other wastewater positions are connected directly to underground septic tank by sewer pipeline and human excreta are directly flushed into the septic tank through sewer lines such septic tank receive both water closet black water and grey water from bathrooms or wash basins the black water in sewer line is a mixture of urine feces flush water along with cleansing water or dry cleansing toilet paper and other human excreta such septic tank acts as a settlement unit in which solid sludge settle out by gravity action and septic tank is designed to slow down the movement of raw sewage and waste water and in this septic tank the solid of raw sewage undergo a process of anaerobic decomposition where in the absence of air by the action of bacteria over the time sludge get treated and reduce in volume by releasing different gases like methane carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide settling and anaerobic process reduce solid sewage material and other organic compositions but such treatment of sewage is only moderate and such settled sludge should be periodically removed by a suction tanker when the septic tank get filled by sludge formation solid sludge of sewage get settled in the bottom section of septic tank and liquid effluents from septic tank are allowed to pass in a nearby sock pit if such liquid effluent of septic tank are directly discharged in near vicinity then that may contaminate surrounding environment as effluent from septic tank contain pathogens and this effluent from septic tank should be discharged to either municipal drainage line or an on site infiltration system should be used the effluent which flow out of septic tank get absorbed on into the ground using a soakage pit or trench this soak pit or soak well or leaching pit is a covered porous walled chamber that allowed water to slowly soak into the ground 
and for good soak away to function the soil conditions of surrounding must be suitable for infiltration of affluent from septic tank subsoil dispersion or infiltration of affluent from septic tank is not recommended in soil conditions which are having limestone or cravic rock formation as in limestone or cravic rock formation conditions the liquid affluent may create cavity and that will convey the pollution to long distances and that may pollute our drinking water resources so where ground conditions do not permit infiltration of treated wastewater additional treatment in the form of a constructed anaerobic filter could be provided prior to discharge into nearby drainage system or water courts so such typical limestone surroundings septic tank got a associated construction of anaerobic filter composition and that will treat liquid effluent of sewage before discharge into any drain or water course responsibility for operation and maintenance of septic tank lies with the owner of household property and for safe and sustainable management of fecal sludge safe emptying of septic tank and transportation of sludge waste to treatment site is essential so when septic tank get filled up septage must be removed from septic tank and transported off site for treatment prior to disposal and local municipal utility or some private contractor are required to desludge filled septage of septic tank and to ensure safe disposal of septage to any dry land lynching area or at some properly designed treatment plant shortcoming in emptying removal and disposal of septage lead to the widespread dumping of untreated waste into open drains fields and water courses and this will cause pollution and is also a very serious public health concern the layout of septic tank pipe lining should be as simple and direct as practically possible the pipe should be laid as far as possible in straight line both in vertical and horizontal planes and if bends are required in pipe lining only long radius band with cleaning eyes should be used the inlet pipe which carry affluent need to be at least 15 cm diameter pipe and the slope of input line should have at least 2% gradient that means a fall of 2 cm per meter is required all the way from toilet to the tank the inlet pipe should go straight into the septic tank without any control box or main hole a typical arrangement of septic tank pipeline is from water closet nearby bathtub wash basin and kitchen sink is here as shown what should be the location of septic tank the septic tank should be located at a place which is open to sky and away from exterior of the wall of the building and should not be located in a swampy area or an area which is prone to flooding and the location of septic tank should also be accessible for all type of cleaning requirement or emptying by automatic pumping systems in any household sewerage system septic tank is expected to perform the following three functions septic tank should perform sedimentation action to remove the maximum possible amount of suspended solid from the sewage it should have a digestion action of settled sludge resulting in much reduced volume of dense and digested sludge of sewage and finally it should have function of storage of sludge and scum which is accumulating in between the successive cleaning or emptying actions thereby it prevent escape of sludge and scum and other pathogen associated with septage 
thus the tank should have an effective capacity large enough to provide for all these three functional requirement of sedimentation digestion and storage of sludge and scum let's understand the design consideration of septic tank the maximum flow to septic tank is based on the number of plumbing fixtures which are discharging simultaneously into septic tank and in one household for each five user will take one standard plumbing fixture in consideration and for a residential colony for each 10 household or each 50 users 20 number of standard plumbing fixtures is considered and for hostel or boarding schools for each 50 users we'll consider 12 number of standard plumbing fixtures and we'll also consider diversity in application and probable peak discharge load is based on 70% of fixture numbers which will discharge simultaneously and for each standard one plumbing fixture the load producing effect is considered as 9 liter per minute or 540 liters per hour the treatment of sludge in septic tank by bacterial action depends on temperature condition or for average indian condition of temperature 25 degree celsius the surface area required is about 0.9 square meter for every 10 liter per minute peak flow rate in septic tank of sewage waste or we can also design septic tank configuration depending upon per capita suspended solids entering the septic tank and that may be considered as 70 g per day per capita and the capacity required for sludge digestion in septic tank is considered as 0.033 meter cube volume per capita at 25 degree celsius temperature condition or we can consider volume of digested sludge in septic tank normally 0.0002 meter cube per capita per day so if we know the number of users we can find out volume of digested sludge or capacity of septic tank required for sludge digestion plan and elevation of a typical septic tank is shown here and we can understand dimensions of septic tank from these two drawings the septic tank should have a minimum width of 75 cm this septic tank got a width of 100 cm the minimum depth below top water level should be 1 meter here in this septic tank it is 1.8 meter the minimum liquid capacity of any septic tank should be 1 meter cube or 1000 liters and the minimum depth of sedimentation of 22 to 30 cm is necessary and when septic tank is designed the length of septic tank should be 2 to 4 times the width of septic tank so septic tanks are designed with length 2 to 4 times of width and depth from 1 meter to 2 meter below top water level let's make a typical design of septic tank for 20 users so we can find out liquid capacity of septic tank and for that we can consider 120 liter of liquid waste per user and for 20 user per day liquid waste capacity will become 2400 liters and 1000 liter is corresponding to 1 cubic meter volume so the volume of liquid handled by septic tank is 2.4 cubic meter for a septic tank we can assume liquid depth from 1 meter to 2 meter let's take liquid depth for this septic tank for 20 user as 1.3 meter so for 2.4 cubic meter volume if we consider liquid depth of 1.3 meter we can find out floor area of tank and this is volume divided by depth and it comes as 1.85 meter square and when 
सेफ्टिक टैंक इज डिजाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ सेफ्टिक टैंक इज कंसिडर्ड एज टू टू फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ब्रेथ ऑफ सेफ्टिक टैंक एंड इफ वी कंसिडर लेंथ टू पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ ब्रेथ देन द सरफेस एरिया प्रोडक्ट ऑफ लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑप्टेंड एज वन पॉइंट एट फाइव विल बिकम लेंथ इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स ब्रेथ सो ब्रेथ स्क्वायर बिकम वन पॉइंट एट फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई टू पॉइंट फाइव एंड वेन वी टेक स्क्वायर रूट वी कैन फाइंड आउट ब्रेथ एज पॉइंट एट सिक्स मीटर और से इट इज पॉइंट नाइन मीटर एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स ऑफ इट इज द लेंथ सो द सरफेस डायमेंशन ऑफ सेफ्टिक टैंक वुड बी ब्रेथ पॉइंट नाइन मीटर एंड लेंथ टू पॉइंट टू फाइव मीटर एंड इफ वी कंसिडर फ्री बोर्ड डेफ्थ इक्वल टू फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर एंड लिक्विड डेफ्थ एज वन पॉइंट थ्री मीटर दैन द टोटल डेफ्थ ऑफ सेफ्टिक टैंक विल बिकम वन पॉइंट सेवन मीटर इन दिस केस फॉर ए सेफ्टिक टैंक ऑफ ट्वेंटी यूजर्स सुटेबल साइजेज ऑफ ए सेफ्टिक टैंक फॉर ट्वेंटी यूजर्स एंड टू ईयर ऑफ क्लीनिंग इंटरवेल इज लेंथ टू पॉइंट थ्री मीटर विथ वन पॉइंट वन मीटर एंड लिक्विड डेप इज वन पॉइंट एट मीटर एंड इफ फॉर सेम ट्वेंटी यूजर वी नीड अ सर्कुलर टैंक then the minimum diameter of that tank shall not be less than 1.35 meter and operating liquid depth shall not be less than 1 meter the construction of septic tank can be illustrated by this diagram with length breadth and depth of septic tank as shown here the septic tank is divided into two or sometimes three chambers by means of a fixed durable partition the partition shall be located so that the capacity of first chamber towards inlet pipe is twice that of second and third chamber together and most of the treatment of sludge takes place in this first chamber only and a good designed and well managed septic tank will remove about 50 to 60% of biological load in waste water suitable opening either rectangle or circular with minimum diameter of 100 mm or maximum diameter of 100 mm shall be provided in this partition at approximately 300 mm below the top water level and in total depth of safety tank a minimum free board of around 300 mm should be provided above top water level and top of safety tank an elbow or t pipe of 100 mm diameter is submerged to the depth of 250 to 600 mm below the top liquid level is used for inlet for septic tank and this inlet to the other side is connected to main sewer line from water closet and other sanitary fittings and for outlet pipe to soak pit again an elbow or t type fitting of 100 mm diameter is used and it is submerged to a depth of 200 to 500 mm below the top liquid level in septic tank and such inlet and outlet pipe may be of stone wear or asbestos so that they can work without trouble for longer duration the top of septic tank is covered with a rcc slab of thickness 75 to 100 mm and for cleansing and inspection purpose circular main holes of 500 mm diameter are provided and such main holes can be used not only for inspection of septic tank conditions but for also desludging or emptying of septic tank if in place of circular main hole if one use rectangle opening then a clear size of 610 mm by 455 mm is required to such main holes for outlet of foul gases and ventilation purpose cast iron or asbestos pipe of 50 mm diameter is provided as vent pipes and such vent pipe should extend at least 2 m above ground level and the top of such vent pipe is provided with a mosquito proof wire mesh or cowl 
we can also connect such vent pipes to our normal soil ventilation system of building which are placed on the top of trap if it is desired foundation floor and all masonry wall structure of septic tank is made watertight and they should have adequate strength to resist all short of earth movement and they should also support the weight of tank walls and the liquid content inside the septic tank the floor may be of cement concrete with minimum m15 grade or a cement concrete mixture of 1 to 4 is used to form flooring and in this flooring a minimum slope of 1 is to 10 is provided towards inlet and outlet to facilitate appropriate desludging of safety tank both inside and outside face of all brick wall and the top of cement concrete floor are plastered with a minimum thickness of 12 mm half an inch thick cement mortar with 1 is to 3 mix and all inside corner of safety tank are rounded for easy cleaning and movement of sludge and in plastering waterproofing agent such as emprimo cam seal or eco proof etc is added in mortar at a at the rate of 2% of cement weight and similarly waterproofing agent is also added in similar 2% of cement proportion in the concrete mix which is used for making floor of the septic tank septic tank with soak pit is a must sanitary requirement of any household if its sewage system is not connected to a centralized sewage system of the city but septic tank also got some limitation and problem of costing the biggest disadvantage of septic tanks are the cost and additional space requirement for soak away or drain field a conventional septic tank construction from brick and concrete cost above rupees 30000 and it may cost 50000 if we add cost of soak pit and this is a considerable amount in our household construction investment but some cheaper options are also available as septic tank made from prefabricated plastic or concrete rings but the durability and operation of those prefabricated septic tanks are doubtful the operation of septic tanks also involve cost of around rupee 2000 once every one or two years depending upon the frequency of emptying of septic tank the size of tank and the distance of treatment plant for the septic tank to function satisfactorily a fairly adequate water supply is a prerequisite if we won't have good enough water supply in our sewage system septic tank will not function satisfactorily similarly excess sewage which are discharged into septic tank by various wash basins can overload septic tank and will reduce efficiency of septic tank and cause excess solids to flow into the soak away and if our waste contain detergent and disinfection agents such as bleaching powder phenyl etc then they are very undesirable in our operation of septic tank as they kill the valuable bacteria of septic tank and when bacteria growth is reduced the treatment will get hampered and it will retard rate of biological decomposition of sludge and reduce efficiency of septic tank we hope this beautiful learning video has explained all important aspects of septic tank regarding its location working operation design and different dimensions and you could also understand what are limitations of septic tank our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful and you can use them in your study or refer them to your friends and our other playlist are also very useful you can also use them in your studies happy learning have nice time thank you very much